Where's uh, Chaz? Well, now that we got your attention, good morning, everybody. That woke us up. I'm Jules Nation, and uh, for today, these are the nations. How about Mike Pupo on the vocals on that last one? And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, Johnny and I, Johnny Nation and I, the nations, we used to uh, tour around this area quite a bit, and we reached out to Barry as the booker of Joe's Bar. Maybe you know Joe's Bar? Well, if you haven't been to Joe's Bar, you haven't been to Boulder Creek. So I would say get yourselves over there sometime soon. Anyway, the booker at Joe's Bar was a lovely man named Barry Tanner. And not only did he book us for a show, he said, hey, you need a place to sleep? And we were like, yeah. And he's like, come to the post office. And what do you know? We had a home in Boulder Creek. Yeah. So Barry Tanner made a home for touring musicians in Boulder Creek. And that's rare. That is yeah. something hard to find. Someone that welcomes you to their town with open mm -hmm. arms and says, come and play music and share music. Not only that, Barry Tanner and Mike Pupo were kind enough to jump on board and tour with Johnny and me. And we took them so far, we took them all the way to La Honda. Yeah. Oh, we took them all the way down to Michael's on Main. Yeah. We made them come down the mountain and play shows with us, and they did. They were wonderfully supportive and wonderfully talented. And, and then we made a record. What do you know? Barry produced a record for us at the post office. Yeah. It's right here. It's called Captured and Released. It's sold out, so there's only a few left. But here's a picture of us sitting on the couch, that red couch that you guys have all sat on and yeah. slept on and I hope not peed on, because I slept on it. So anyway, if you want to take a look at that record, please do. We're going to play you a song off of it right now. It was Barry's favorite of our originals. It's called Hidden Treasures. Mike Pupo wanted us to play it today. So here's a song by Jules and Johnny Nation. This is called Hidden Treasures.
That's Biggie and Barry. We let Barry pick the songs we were going to record, and he was like, oh, we got to do that one. And uh, on the record, uh, Todd Reed played keyboards. Anybody remember Todd? Man, Todd used to hang out at the studio and just throw down some, like, brilliant keyboard tracks. Hey, you know, I'm having coffee one minute and playing crazy good keyboards on your on your track the next. That was the beauty of the post office, right? You're having coffee with somebody, smoking a bowl. Next thing you know, they're laying down some piccolo on a song. Gotta know this song needed piccolo. This next track is called Winter Rose. It's very bluegrassy if we have any banjo or mandolin. I saw a lute over there. I don't know if you can do any crazy picking on that lute, but this song's called Winter Rose and uh, it's time to dance a jig. So get ready to dance a jig. Here we go. from a couple years back called Outdoor Boogie. Outdoor Boogie. Now, Johnny's not here today. You might notice it's just Jules Nation today. I'm missing my John John, but he's here on my chest. So if you want to come up and take a close look at my chest, that's fine. I know it's the t-shirt, uh, but this is Johnny's band from back in the 80s. He swears he's not wearing lipstick in this picture, but I know he is. But we all did back in the 80s, boys. Come on, admit it. You teased your hair up and wore lipstick. So he was in a rock and roll band called the Joneses back in the day. So Johnny's here representing on my chest. And uh, we're so happy to be included in today's celebration of our dear friend Barry. And now Mike Poopo is going to sing another one for you. Hey. Here we go. 
who that was a cover of. It's a little obscure. Rock and roll trivia time. I have a prize if you get it right. It's Jay Giles Band. That's a Jay Giles Band tune. Yeah. Me and Barry uh, built these two guys, Bob and Joanne. We built their kitchen, uh, and he was kind enough to make it up the hill today. Aren't these guys looking great for around the 90-ish? Kicking ass. this band I'm so grateful to be playing with these guys yeah. this is a this is an all-star Boulder Creek lineup I'm gonna be oh I'm sorry not all from Boulder Creek Danny came all the way up from whoa all right <laughs> Lucinda Williams, of course. And I think it's time we let the bass player sing one. What do you say? I know it's a dangerous prospect. You never know what those bass players are going to do when you let them sing. Barry, Barry, we let you sing every now and then. I'll always think of him as a bass player, but of course he did everything, didn't he? 
But he yes. played bass on our records and he played bass with us on tour, so I always think of Barry as a bass player. <laughs> How about it? Hey, Robert,
Nation, Jules Nation of the Nations. Let's go around and introduce this incredible band. On guitar, my good friend Danny. On the bass, eating that guacamole. And my Google on the drums. Thank you so much for having us today. Looking forward to a great day of music. Your instruments and more mics. Yay! And mics.